weird, no? Yeah, I'm, I'm vlogging today. Um, something's up, and I gotta show you guys something. It's super epic. It's gonna be great. It's kind of, it's a semi unboxing. So, yeah, let's go. You know, it actually feels weird. Na hindi ko nagigita yung sarili ko habang nag-vlog ako. Because, um, I'm currently vlogging on, let's just say, a very different rig. It's nothing too much, but you guys better see this. This is actually a Sony A7R4. And I forgot to introduce you guys to my boss. He's the man behind this uh, major improvement. Hey guys, you gotta try out the A7R4 for blogging. It's an incredible camera, Sony's latest. Comes in about $5,000, but for that $5,000, you really, really get an outstanding camera for a great price. So guys, what you're about to see at this next sequence is an unboxing of this camera. I'm not really the best unboxer there is, but I did my best. I hope you guys like it. And as you can see, this is the Sony A7R4 box, looking prestigious AF. Um, yeah, the box looks good, orange, and all those logos, Bion's X, 4K, all the crazy stuff you're gonna find for the camera is open up the box. And, of course, first is the manual, to which nobody will ever read, possibly. Charging cables, wires, wires that also I will not be using. A strap that says, steal me. Yes, to which I'm also not going to use on the long run. And the battery. Battery charger, battery wire for charger, and then the battery. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, review. Quick unboxing. Yes, Sony A7R4. A very crazy camera, big camera. It has a lot of ports. It's heavy, and let's use it. Oh, so honestly, I'm excited because I'm using this is A7R4. Um, technically, right now, I'm on my way to the office and I'm gonna be shooting stills, a couple of B-roll, para dito sa kinagawa namin malit na cinematic sequence, which is this is actually my job. Gumawa ng short films, short sequences, pero hindi niyong makita siempre kasi they're kinda company related. It's actually weird that I kind of get to try out this camera as far as I can because I will be working out with this camera for the rest of this career. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. A7R4 all the way for photo, for video, but I guess it's not technically mine. It's a company company camera, to be honest with you. But I not think I'm going to buy And um, I might buy one soon. Soon. Depends on what I'm using it. Depends on kung saan ko siya magagamit at ngayon ko lang malalaman yung silbi ng paggamit talaga ng full frame na camera pero honestly I feel like John Santana right now vlogging with a full frame camera to which this is not me typically and still to be honest vlogging without a flip screen ain't half bad dahil mas makapag focus ka talaga I can't believe that I'm vlogging with this. Okay, so right now I just finished shooting a time lapse. Para sa hindi pa yun yung time lapse na magagawa ko, hindi pa ako satisfied. But I'm also gonna get a couple of B-roll here in the city. So tara na. So far, I'm going to say Sony A7R4 
A7R4, masasabi ko lang na pagdating sa photo, sobrang unbelievable yung 61 megapixels dahil pwede kang mag-crop, sobrang OA ng detail, parang nag-sharpness ka ng sobra-sobra. Pero to the point na pag kinrap mo pa rin hanggang mukha, pwede pa rin magamit. And pagdating sa video compared sa A64, napansin ko lang na parang mas malinis yung quality na meron sa R4 compared sa 64. Pero technically, pagdating sa specs, pareho pa din isa pa din. At marerecommend ko ba na bilhin ang A7 R4? For photo, yes. For video, pwede na. Kasi kaya niyang magmatch sa Sony A64. Ang pinaka pinagkaiba lang ng A64 at A7 R4 ay IBIS, megapixel, at battery life. Yun lang. Para sa akin, yun lang. And right now, I'm trying to take a time lapse gamit yung A7R4. I've also taken photos yesterday, uh, and the other day, this is actually the third, fourth day. Yeah, this is the fourth day na gamit yung A7R4. And so far, yung battery life, sobrang surprising. Dahil, hindi siya agad nalaloba. Actually, dalawang battery lang yung kinuha ko para sa camera na to. And, sinerge ko na yung isa, tapos na agad. Ito, isa pa lang, isang battery pa lang nagagamit ko. 87% pa rin siya. Ito parang 2 hours lang, no? But na agad, or 3 hours, tapos na agad yung battery. Also, kasi siguro kailangan nyo i-consider yung fact na sobrang heavy ng specs ng camera na to. Kaya mabilis siya malobat. If you have a bigger battery, syempre, kakayanin nyo yung specs. Technically, pareho lang talaga yung specs. Expected ko lang na may 4K60 pero walang 4K60, 4K120 wala rin. Yung 4K niya may crop so medyo I find that weird dahil syempre latest A7R4 pero may crop yung 4K. Ito naka 4K ako ngayon walang crop. So yeah, should I recommend the Sony A7R4? For photographers, it's a big yes. For videographers, for videographers, pwede na. 50-50. If you have the budget, go buy it. If you don't have the budget, go for an A7 III. Das pumili ka na ng lens. Daan mo sa lente. At the end of the day, I just want to finish this vlog off by saying, wala sa camera body. Narealize ko na nasa lente siya. Lente at saka laptop na ginagamit mo pang edit. Why? Kasi natry ko na yung X-T4, X-T3, natry ko na yung Sony A7 III, A7R4, A64, A63, at iba-ibang Canon camera. Natry ko na halos lahat ng common vlogging cameras, common professional cameras. And ang masasabi ko lang, oo, may pagkakaiba sa specs. Pero hindi magdadala yung brand, hindi rin magdadala yung, yung specs. Ang magdadala yung user. Kung, kung paano mo siya gagamitin, kung paano mo siya i-utilize. Tulad nito, may A64 ako harangan nyo yung timelapse. Tulad nito, may A64 ako. Halos wala siyang pinagaya ba sa specs. Kaya ko rin ng 120. Wala lang akong IBIS. Yun lang. Tandaan nyo na pagdating sa pagbili ng camera, sa lens kayo mag-invest, wag sa body. Recommendation, maybe 7 over 10. At kung uulitin ko, yun nga. Kung may budget ka, A7R4. Kung wala kang budget, A7 III, dalhin mo sa lente. 24, 1.4, 28.75, 17.28, all those crazy lenses. Basta i-balance mo yung Trinity. Goods ka na. Sa pagkatapos, kung out of this world ka, huwag mo na rin kakalimutan na mag-like, comment, and subscribe. Mag-upload ulit ako ng vlog sa susunod. At maaaring about sa A7R4 na naman dahil up until today, I'm still trying to discover this camera. I'm still trying to study a couple of facts about it. The photo quality, the images are great. Um, yung presyo niya, 180,000 pesos. Not bad, but iintayin ko pa rin ang Sony A7S 3 Yun ang bibilin ko. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Possibly. Depending.